नमस्कार दोस्तों दिस इज प्रोफेसर रिपोर्ट इन सिन्हा प्रोफेसर इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी प्रमोटर यूनाइटेड नेशन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट एजेंडा 2030 अफ्रीकन यूनियन एजेंडा 2063 युगांडा डेवलपमेंट एजेंडा 2040 इंडिया ग्रोथ इंडेक्स इंडिया 75 इन द बायलैटरल इंडिया बायलैटरल रिलेशन प्रमोशनल सीरीज टुडे आई ब्रिंग विद यू the relationship between the india and australia bilateral relations so the india australia bilateral relationship has undergone evolution in recent years developing along a positive track into strategic partnership the two nation have much in common underpinned by shared values of pluralistic vegmental style democracies commonwealth traditions expanding economic engagement increasing high level interaction the long standing people to people ties ever increasing india student coming to australia for the higher education growing tourism and supporting link have play a significant roles in further strengthening bilateral relations between these two countries the historical tie between india and australia started immediately following european settlement in the australia from 1788 all trade to and fro from the penley penal colony of new south wales was controlled by the british east india company through kolkata india and australia established diplomatic relation in the pre independence periods with the establishment of india trade office in sydney in 1941 the end of the cold war and simultaneously india decision to launch major economic reform in 1991 provided the first positive move towards development of closer tie between the two nations with the passing time the relationship gained momentum towards a strategic relationship alongside the existing economic engagement india Australia strategic relationship with the changing global scenario Australia has a come to look at India as an important partner in promoting relationship relational security and stability this led to upgradation of bilateral relation to the strategic partnership including a joint declaration on the security cooperation in 2009 over the year an array of institutional mechanisms has been put in the place to promote bilateral cooperation bilateral mechanisms including high level visit annual meeting of the prime minister foreign ministers framework dialogues joint trade and commerce ministerial commission india australia 2 plus 2 foreign secretary and defense secretary dialogues defense policy talks australia india education council defense service staff talk energy security dialogues GWG and different issues. Australia White Paper on Foreign Policy, released in November 2017. See India in the front rank of the Australia International Partnership. It says, beyond an increasingly important economic relationship, our security interests are congruent, particularly in relation to the stability and openness of the Indian Ocean. both the country have a common interest in upholding international law especially in relation to freedom of navigational and maritime securities so in the parts of political relation between the india and australia visit at the level of hos president of india visited australia on 21st and 24th november 2018 it was the first ever visit to the president of india to australia during the visit Australian Prime Minister announced support to its India economic strategy priority recommendation including to take measure to increase Australian investment in India from 10 Australian dollar 10 billion Australian dollar to 100 billion by 2035 100 billion Australian USD Australian dollar 
first mou which also include mou on cooperation of in disability sector mou between invest india and astro sai to promote bilateral investment where exchange during the visit rashtrapati ji visit to australia was presented by visit of the governor general of australia to india in march 2018 to attend the foundation founding conference of the international solar alliances prime minister visit the two bay prime minister visit in 2014 built significant momentum in the bilateral relations in former prime minister tony aptot visited india from 4 to 5 september 2014 during the visit four agreement mou on the civil nuclear cooperation sports water resource skill were signed prime minister sri narendra modi visited australia for g20 leader summit at brisbane in november 2014 followed by bilateral visit from 16 to 18 november 2014 during the visit he addressed a joint sitting of the both the house of parliament the first by indian pm framework for the security cooperation between india and australia and five other agreement mou and social security tourism arts and culture sentenced person and combating mis- narcotics were signed on this occasion further prime minister makoli tombol paid a straight visit to india for 9 to 12 april 2017 six bilateral agreement mou on the cooperation in combating international terrorism transnational organized crime health and medicine sports environment climate and wildlife civil aviation society and space technology were signed during the visit prime minister of the both the country had met twice during 2019 on 29th june 29 on the margin of g20 summit on osaka and 4 november 2019 on the margin of eas in the bangkok in the case of foreign minister meetings foreign ministry framework dialogue fmfd the central mechanism for advancing the bilateral agenda is held annually alternatively india and australia foreign minister ms julie bishop visited india on 18 to 19 july 2017 for the annual fmfd in new delhi foreign minister mary price visited india on 8 to 9 january 2019 and again on 15 to 16 january 2020 to participate in the rice and a dialogue she also held bilateral meeting with the eam and nas during her india visit external affairs minister dr s j sankar met his australian counterpart senate major finance four times for the bilateral meeting in 2019 and 10 july 2019 on the sideline of the commonwealth foreign foreign ministerial meeting in london on august 2 2019 on the sideline of asian related meeting in bangkok and 16 26 september 2019 on the sideline of unga in new york and 33 november 2019 on sideline of g20 foreign minister meeting in nagora japan other recent ministry visit is the number of high level delegation at the ministerial level visited australia during the last two years minister of health family welfare Sri J P Nadda visited Australia from February 2018 to 21, 2018, to participate in the inaugural meeting of Global Digital Health Partnership in the Canberra and International Digital Health Symposium in the Sydney. Minister of Commerce and Industry and Civil Aviation Sri Suresh Prabhu visited Canberra and Sydney from the June 26 to 26, 2018, for the 15th India-Australia Joint Ministerial Commission. which was held on 25th june 2018 in canberra sri prakash jabedkar ministry for human resource development visited australia from june 28 to july 8 2018 to participate in the fourth meeting of australia india education council minister of state for home affairs sri g krishnan reddy visited marlborough on 7 to 8 november 2019 for attending no money for terror ministerial conference a high level delegation led by minister of the state for the consumer affairs food and public distribution ross of patel dang visited australia from 14 to 21st december 2019 in pursuance of collective project on consumer 
fraction. Australia Minister for Resource and Northern Australia, Mark Canban, visited India on 26 to 29th August 2019, where he met with the ministerial counterpart and resource industry leader. Australian Education Minister Dan Tehan led a delegation of the senior leader from the education sector to India from 19 to 21st November 2019 and held meeting with the Minister for the Human Resource Development, Ramesh Pokhria Nisan. He also co-chaired fifth Australian India Education Council meeting along with his Indian counterpart in New Delhi. India-Australia 2 plus 2 Foreign Secretary and Defence Secretary Dialogue. India and Australia agreed on 2015 to hold annual meeting of Foreign and Defence Secretary to enhance foreign policy and security cooperation. The third dialogue was held in New Delhi, 9 December 2019. India-Australia Japan Trilateral Dialogue. The no inaugural secretary level trilateral talk between the India, Australia, and Japan was held in New Delhi in June 2015. The second foreign secretary level trilateral talks were held on Tokyo on 26 February 2016, and third took place in the Canberra on 19 April 2017. The fourth India Australia Japan trilateral dialogue was held in New Delhi on 13 December 2017. Indonesia Australia India trilateral dialogue. The first Indonesia Australia India senior officer strategic dialogue was held in Bogor, Indonesia on 27th November 2017. The second dialogue in the Canberra in September 21, 2018 and third in the New Delhi, 13 November 2019. Other recent important bilateral mechanism talks the sixth round of the India-Australia dialogue on the East Asia, which is held at the senior officer level, was held in Canberra in June 2018. On 1st November 2018, India and Australia held a bilateral consultation on non proliferation and disarmament issue in Canberra. Defence policy talks were held on 14 March 2019. JWG on the tourism was held in Sydney on 15 April 2019. The senior officers label joint working group on the counter met in the Canberra on 24 May 2019. The third India-Australia bilateral dialogue on global cyber issue was held in 2019 on 4 September 2019. The 2019 fifth India-Australia maritime dialogue was held in New Delhi on 19 November 2019. India and Australia cooperate in a various multi multilateral fora, Australia support India candidate in the expanded UN Security Council. Both India and Australia are member of the Common Bill, IOR, ASEAN Region Forum, Asia Pacific Partnership on the Climate and Clean Development and have participated in East in Asia Summit. Both countries have also been cooperating as a member of five interest parties in the WTO context. Australia is an important player of FPES and support India membership of the organization. In 2008, Australia become an observer of SART. So, in the parts of the uh, bilateral economic and trade relationship concern with the India and uh, Australia, the India-Australia economic relation has grown significantly in this country. India growing economic profile and commerce relevance uh, to the Australian economy is recognized, both at the federal and state level in Australia. As parts of this work to develop a strong economic relationship with the India, the Australian side accepted some recommendation of India economic strategy prepared by Australian think tank to define a pathway for Australia to unlock opportunity offered by Indian economic growth. The strategy aimed for the clear exposition of the kind of relationship Australia should aspire to have with the India out to 2035. The paper was released on uh, uh, July 12, 2018, the paper identified 10 key sectors, education as a flagship sector, agribusiness, resources and tourism as a lead sector, energy, health, financial service, infrastructure, sports, science and innovation as a promising sector and 10 states in India, Andhra Pradesh, Delhi, NCR, Gujarat, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, UP and West Bengal, where Australians should focus effort. 
During the Rashtrapati visit to Australia in November 2018, Australia Prime Minister announced the response of Australian government to the IC report providing in principle support to the strategy 20 priority recommendation as well as staggering to the initial round of measure under the ongoing implementation plan. Government of India has also tasked CIA to prepare an Australian economic strategy paper which is expected to be released in 2020. India Australia joint ministry commissions is also established that is JMC India Australia joint ministry commission is established in 1989 to enable interaction of the government and business level on a range of trade and investment related issues JMC meeting are held regularly ministry of commerce and industry and civil aviation sri suresh prabhu visited canberra sydney 24 to 26 june 2018 he co-chaired the 15th india australia joint ministry commission which was held on 25th june 2018 in canberra with the australian minister for trade tourism and investment in canberra the commerce minister called on a prime minister he also had extensive bilateral meeting with the treasurer agriculture and water resource minister and foreign minister in the second leg of his the visit the commerce minister addressed representative of about 15 25th Australian Super Fund in Sydney on 26 June 2018. Australia Trade Minister Simon Brigham is scheduled to visit India on 23 February 2020 for next round of GMC. In the parts of bilateral trade, India is the fifth largest trade partner of Australia with the trade in goods and services at the 29 billion Australian. dollar representing 3.6 share percent share of the total australian trade in 2017 and 18 which export at uh, 8 billion australian dollar and import is 21 billion australian dollar overall trade increase 13.1% on yoy basis while import increase 9.7 on yoy basis year to year basis export increased by impressive 23.3% allowed on the lower base india main export to australia are refined petroleum medicament railways vehicles including hover trains hover trains pearls and gem jewelry mates of textile article while our major import are coal copper ore concentrate coal vegetables wools and other animal hairs fruits nuts lentils and education related services these two country are also discussing a comprehensive economic cooperation agreement india australia co forum is a mechanism for business for both nation to engage directly on the way to build the bilateral trade and investment relationship it is was established in 2011 and revitalized on the november 2014 the forum include heads of the indian and australian business from the broad range of sector including energy and resources agri business financial sector telecommunication it education and pharmaceutical the last meeting ceo dialogue was held in sydney in november 2018 during the visit of rashtrapati ji to australia in the part of civil nuclear cooperation concern a civil nuclear cooperation agreement between the two country was also signed on the september 2014 to the visit of australian prime minister to india the agreement come into force from the 13 november 2019 the australian parliament passed the civil nuclear transfer to india bill 2016 on the 1st december 2016 which ensured the uranium mining company in australia may fulfill contract to supply australian uranium to india for the civil use with the confidence that export could not be hindered by the domestic legal action challenge that consistency of the safeguard applied by the iaea in india and australia international non proliferation obligation it is also ensured that any future bilateral trade in other nuclear related material or item for civil use is also protected fifth defense cooperation former raksha mantri sri ak antony paid the first ever official visit by the indian defense minister to australia during 4 to 5 june 2013 Recently in November 2019 Defence Ministry of both the country had bilateral meeting in Bangkok on the sideline of ADMM plus during the visit of India prime minister to Australia in November 2014 both sides decided extend defence cooperation to cover research development 
and industry engagement and agree to hold regular meeting at the level of defense minister conduct regular maritime exercise and convene regular service to service talk as a result the then australian defense minister mr kellen andrew visited india during first to third september 2015 by bilateral talk for the bilateral talk our cns admirals r k dhawan visited australian during second to seventh september 2015 for bilateral talk our cns admiral r k dhawan visited australia during second and seventh october 2015 for bilateral talk attendance c power conference 2015 in sydney and signed a technical agreement on the wide shipping information exchange defend policy talk and service to service staff talks are also held regularly the first ever bilateral maritime exercise anusi index 15 was conducted at in visakhapatnam the bay of bengal in september 2015 the second bilateral maritime exercise 2017 anusi dex was conducted off the coast freed maline australian during 17 to 19 june 2017 in which three indian naval ship participated and seed and syndax 2019 was held in the bay of bengal in april 2019 in 2018 indian air force participated for the first time in the exercise peach black in australia from 27 july to 17 august ins hadri participated in the kokodu the binaural exercise of the australian navy held in from 20, 30 august to 15 september 2018 in this 27th nation participant the fourth edition of uh, astra hind a special force of army exercise was held in the the parts of the agriculture science and technology parts for the bilateral relation promotion between india and australia is an india australia india strategic research fund is also established which was established in 2006 support scientists in india and australia to collaborate on leading edge research aies rf consists of india australian by technology fund india australia science and technology fund grant challenge fund and fellowship scheme the fund where each site contribute equally support large scale research project designed to deliver practical solution focusing on energy food and water security health and environment joint committee on science and technology and biotechnology have been established to administrate the fund the australian side is also cooperating in our clean ganga project as agreed during visit of our prime minister to australia in 2014 secretary water resource river development and the ganga rejuvenation led to delegation to australia during 19 to 25 january june 2016 for the bilateral cooperation on water resource management including discussion on ganga rejuvenation four member delegation led by sri up singh secretary ministry of water resource river development and ganga rejuvenation visit canberra for attending fourth india australia jbc meeting on july 11 2018 in the part of resource and energy security sri pius goel then minister of state for the coal power and new renewable energy accompanied by the business delegation visited australia during 8 to 11 february 2016 to participate in the india australia energy security dialogue jointly chaired by him and minister of resource energy in northern australia mr josh fedans he also held bilateral talks with the mr andrew rob the then minister for trade and investment and as w premier mr mike bat and attended the five round table event on the energy security and renewable energy issue sri goel again led a delegation to australia in october 2016 for the bilateral discussion with the federal minister for resort mr matthew canavan addressed the round table event on the clean energy renewable and long lng a joint working group on energy and mineral was also established in 19 99 to expand bilateral relationship in energy and resource sector so, uh, the eighth gw meeting held in the new delhi uh, 2013 as energy was one of the central pillar of economic cohesion both side agreed during the visit of our prime minister to australia in november 20 14 to cooperate on transfer of clean 
technology and welcome australian desire to upgrade the indian school of mines dhanbad the ninth jw meeting in barisvane in june 25 2015 provide the opportunity to discuss resource and energy policy development and reform including opportunity and challenge in mining petroleum and gas power new renewable energy as well as challenge in the skill science and innovation and infrastructure the jw also concluded research agreement on the benefiction between csiro and an nmdc mou on cooperation and development between csiro ism dhanbad during her visit to india in july 2017 foreign minister ms julie bishop signed a framework agreement for the australia to join international solar alliances led by government of india and france in december 2017 the australian government formally ratified the government agreement next is the parts of the education sports arts and culture the joint working group on the education between two country has identified several key area for the cooperation including collaboration research in the education policy student exchange program capacity building on vocational education and distant learning in the higher education the number of indian student currently enrolled in studying in australia is around 19000 under the new colombo plan of australian government australian undergraduate have studied and completed an internship in india australia india education council meeting sri prakash javedkar minister for health and home ministry for human resource development visited australia for from june 28 to july 3 2018 to participate in the fourth meeting of australia india education council aiec australia education minister dan tehan led a delegation of senior leader from the education sector to india from 19 to 21 november 2019 and held a meeting with the minister for human resource development ramesh pokhrial nishan he also co-chaired fifth internet fifth australia india education council meeting along with the indian counterpart in new delhi australia also agreed to have to establish in the world class sports university in india secretary sri rajiv yadav had a delegation to australia during 9 to 11 october 2016 for a study and discussion with australian sport university for setting up national sports university in india a mou on cooperation in sports was signed during visit of the former pm Trumbull to India April 27th and you in the head of today was signed between the two countries during the PM Modi to Australia November consular cooperation the mutual legal assistance treaty and extradition treaty between India and Australia which was signed in June 2008 have been ratified by the both the government and have been enacted into force of 23 January 2011 a joint working group on visa passport and consular uh, meetings matters was established during the visit of foreign minister stephen steen to india in september 2008 regular meeting on jw are held with the last fifth india australia jw taking place in the canberra during 20 to 20 and october 2015 issue related to biometric border management and illegal migration extradition mlt surrogacy surrogacy visa are the part of discussion between the two nation india and australia signed a society security agreement on the eve of our prime visit to australia in november 2014 the agreement has been ratified by both the country and come into force with effect from 1st january 2016 indian community in australia the indian community in australia continue to grow in size and importance with the population of nearly half 70 lakhs India is the one of the top source of the skilled migration in Australia. There, there is constant flow of student and tourists from the India. The number of Indian students continue to grow. Approximately nineteen thousand students currently studying in the Australian university. India is the now the third largest source of immigration to Australia after UK and New Zealand. and the largest source of skill profession for australia the growing significance of the community is reflected in the large scale collaboration in indian festival in australia especially the pub in the cases of that overall discussion with the india 
Australia bilateral relations is. Some future spark for bilateral relations is also is there. In coming year, the overall relationship between India and Australia will continue to grow and has the potential to assume greater prominence. The purpose for the bilateral relationship are recognized in the both country as strategically useful, economically productive, and aligned with each other new agenda. The several community and closely aligned value in principle of democracy, liberty, the rule of law, human rights, freedom of speech, free press, and multicultural serve as a foundation for closer cooperation, multifaceted interaction, and enhancement of bilateral relationship. So you are watching Professor Ripu Ranjit Sinha. Promotional schemes related with the uh, India, Africa, uh, India, Australia bilateral promotion series, series especially India, uh, India bilateral promotion series parts, Australia. So thanks for the same. Thanks for watching. Keep what watching Professor Ripu Ranjit Sinha. So on the India. India bilateral promotional scheme and promotional series for the upliftment of the trade and in uh, upliftment of the trade promotions and cultural relation between across the world with the promotional scheme. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mara. Thank you very much.